What's up guys, it's your girl. Welcome to a brand new YouTube series of The Sims 4. Hit the intro. What is The Chapel Show? Good question, I'm glad you've been paying attention. The Chapel Show is going to be my new Let's Play, following this wonderful little teenager here. But who is she? Well, she's a teenager who's recently moved out of her dad's house to pursue her dream of making it big and living on her own. Besides which, her dad got married and, well, nobody wants to be around newlyweds, they're too lovey-dovey. Lexi isn't alone in the cast, however, we also have, in no particular order, Damien Chapel, Lexi's dad, Nora Chapel, Lexi's mum, Mark Chapel, the little brother, Martin, Damien's dad, better known as Papa Chapel, Audrey, Damien's mum, better known as Nana Chapel, and Mac Allen, Nora's dad. Sadly, her mum passed away. Also, there's a little joke there for DC fans. Finally, we have Glenn Anderson, Damien's new husband. He's quite a looker too, isn't he? Now that we've met the family, let's take a look around the apartment that Lexi's renting. She's starting out with basically no money, not even enough to pay her first week's rent. So along with the normal teenage stuff like having to go to school, doing homework and seeing friends and meeting boys, she's going to have to find some way to pay her rent too, which will be interesting. Let's begin in the kitchen where the cupboards look horrible. In fact, honestly, the whole place does. Look at this place. Look at that oven. It's not even been used yet and it looks dirty. And yes, there's an easel in the kitchen. The place is so small there's nowhere else for it. What about the bathroom? Well, apparently there's no light in here. That's just bad design. Let's have a look. Little cabinet, shower, sink, toilet, and a hamper for the dirty clothes. All makes sense to me. The bedroom is also very, very basic. We've got a few dresses to put things on in the future, if we ever have things. A wardrobe, some clothes hanging on a bar because she's too poor to afford anywhere else to put them. And not the worst bed possible because, I mean, she's poor, but surely she can at least sleep comfortably, right? And finally, the main area of the apartment. Here you'll probably notice a bar because she's a teenager and, well, she needs to have some fun. Maybe a drinking problem. You'll also probably notice there's a fish bowl with no fish in it. Well, we'll see if we can fix that in a later episode. Check out the computer and TV. Do you remember TVs that big? Apparently her father does. He gave it to her from his attic, but it's all she can afford. And a woodworking bench in the background, also a present from her father. He dreams that one day she'll be crafty. Okay, now the tour is over, let's see what Lexi's up to. Watching TV, apparently. What the heck is this? She's watching a movie, I think, and thinking about muscles. Oh, Lexi, what are you like? She's probably thinking about the sim with the European accent. Very sexy. That's fine. Not like you've got anyone else right now, is it, girl? That seems to be one of our neighbours in the background. Should maybe possibly introduce ourselves to them. And a James Bond style ending. That's pretty funny, actually. And now Lexi is reviewing the movie? Who's she talking to? Never mind. Right, let's check out the calendar, see what exciting stuff is coming up. Okay, we have school tomorrow, where Lexi is a C student. Oh, your dad only agreed to let you live on your own if you get A's. Better get those grades up. Okay, Festival of Snow at the weekend. I have absolutely no idea what that is. And Love Day! Okay, that one's obvious. We need to get a date before then, I think. Might need to look out for some options. We have barely 400 simoleons, so let's start off by trying to do something about that. What if you paint a little picture? Painting is one of the ways we have to make money, along with the guitar in the background. Violin was her mum's idea. We'll see if we can get around to that. Bit of figure painting. Let's see how this goes. Another one of the neighbours in the background I see. She looks quite a bit older than the other one, doesn't she? 
Is she his mum? Does she have a toy boy? Okay, now I'm a little bit interested in the neighbours. Let's quickly go check out the neighbour. Yep, she's definitely a lot older than he seemed to be. Lex is really thinking hard about this painting. Hopefully this is just an outline. Because we're not going to make much money if it looks like this. Come on girl, we need to pay rent. This looks like something a toddler would draw. Okay, seriously, this is your first bit of art? Really? This is how we're going to make money? Okay, it's clear Lex is going to starve to death as the series continues. And yet, somehow, it's worth 92 simoleons. Really? Damn. Well, that's not as much as it costed to paint in the first place, but I honestly don't want to meet the collector who pays people to buy paintings that look like children's doodles. I think it's time we officially get out of the house for a bit, so let's grab some bits and head out. That's it, Lexi. You take a little selfie. Yes. Honestly, teenagers. There seems to be some people over here. Let's go introduce ourselves. Play it cool, Lexi. Don't want to come across too desperate for friends. Okay, a woman and a kid. Let's see, let's ask her what kind of music she likes. That's a good subject. She likes classical music. I wouldn't have guessed that. And clearly she's not a fan of Lexi. Uh, bye then, just leave your kid behind, why don't you? Yeah, she just walked off. And someone's sleeping on the bench. Okay, this is awkward. Not a good start. We can recover though. Let's practice some dribbling. Where are you going, Lexi? You're going to start dribbling on the pavement. You don't think using the court would be a good idea? No? You happy there? Okay, you do you. Now we've got our social needs up a bit. We need food. Where can we go for some of that? Quick search around the neighbourhood and karaoke bar? This is more like it. Our day is getting better now. Okay, cool. Let's hope there's some food. Yes, okay. Let's order some French fries or chips as they're meant to be called. Wait, was that a dad who just walked in before her? Clearly he's going to make sure she's not drinking. Okay, play it cool, Lexi. He doesn't need to know why we're here. Just popped in for some chips, Dad, that's all. Don't worry. Drinking on a school night. I mean, as a teenager, wouldn't think of it. Let's tell him about our dreams. He probably won't listen, but he needs a reminder every now and again. Let's listen about these chips. Odd a lot here. Let's put them in the old inventory to take home. It's like a doggy bag, but slightly messier. Plate with sauce in our pocket, no problem. So there seems to be karaoke booths, that's fine. We can try a little singing. People showing up now too. Let's introduce ourselves to this lovely lady. Hi, I'm Lexi, gonna be famous one day. You seem lovely, love the tracksuit, love the colour. Let's talk about the temperature. What else? Complain about parents, that seems right. My dad was literally just here checking up on me. One day away and he's already snooping. Okay, she seems to understand. Or not. She walked off thinking about cars. Okay, so Lexi's apparently very boring. That's two people she's driven away now. The bartender won't walk off though, she's paid to listen to us. Well this is an unexpected twist. Okay guys, I didn't include him in the introduction, I had a plan to introduce him at some point, but this is actually Nathan Hansen. He's one of Lexi's mum's neighbours. She likes him, she's got a bit of a crush, and they're 
just friends really. He's a popular jock at school and she needs to impress him a bit. So that's say he's a fan, clearly he's a fan of somebody nearby. There are celebrities around. Lexi, like, so stop talking to the bartender and start talking to the boy you like. Come on, say a bit closer to him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude, are you serious? I try and move a bit closer to Nathan and Baghead comes here and takes the seat. Are you really going to do this? Just appear from nowhere with a bag over your head? God, I'd hide my face too if I was that inconsiderate. Okay, they're going to switch. She seems grateful. Let's make a good impression on Nathan now. Let's impress him with some chips. That's what boys like, right? Apparently Nate doesn't want chips, but Dirk Dreamer walks in and just takes some. Bloody celebrities. I think they can have everything they want. Okay, there's not an interaction called ask how ugly you are while wearing a bag on your head. That's disappointing. Did you see someone else just helping themselves to Lexi's chips? Seriously, and Nate hasn't had any. Maybe he's impressed with how generous she is with her chips. That's a thing, right? Quick, put them away before anyone else takes any. Need them for breakfast. Too bloody poor to buy much else. At least Nate and Lexi are having a good time with their conversation. And it suddenly got weirdly bright in here. What the heck? Ooh, Octavia Moon. We need to introduce ourselves to her. We could make a celebrity friend. Let's start off by asking for an autograph. Celebrities love that. I hope. Lexi very slowly walking over to meet her and freaking out, of course. Let's attempt an introduction. Or alternatively, walk off and sit down. That's exactly what you do when you meet celebrities. Hell, what would I know when I meet famous people I forget how to speak words. This bar is awful in terms of walls getting in the way all the time, I'm not sure why. Plus someone is singing now and Lexi's still just sat there. She better not wet herself. Right, there we go. Take a quick wee and then we'll figure out what to do next. That seems to be my new friend singing in the background. Good for her. Let's go get our sing on. What should we choose? A bit of pop, maybe? That can't hurt. Come on, Lexi, it's time to impress people with your singing. Chobi Grump, babe. Chobi Per Exabom, Did I say impress people? I meant. Um. Okay, well, she's trying at least. Wow, she's really bad at this. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm just putting some effort in at least. Dirk Dreamer next door put me to shame. First he steals my chips, now he upstages me. God's going to be a fight in this bar before long. Okay, not sure what to do now. Has Nathan left? Did he hear Lexi singing and just leg it? I think he might have. Oh God, that was definitely not the way to try and impress him. She decides to have a little bit of a sit. This person seems pretty good though. Shall we introduce ourselves? Well, that's gone well so far. She's apparently just stopped singing. Lexi's really good at this socialising thing. 
Maybe she should become a hermit. Okay, this night did not go to plan. Let's just go home. Let's take a little sit down in her apartment. Something's going on with the neighbours, apparently. Is he arguing with his mum slash possible cougar lover? <laughs> Let's do some homework before school tomorrow. That at least be something positive for the day. And now she's tense. Is that because of the arguing next door? Oh, is that an autograph? We actually got an autographed photo. That's pretty cool. Although it doesn't mean Octavia carries around a bunch of headshots with her everywhere she goes. It seems about right. Oh, actually, can we pin it on the board? Um, apparently not. It's not a thing you can do. Okay, then. Back on the wall. And autographed? Though you can't actually see the autograph. Never mind, we know it's autographed. It's still cool. <sighs> Lexi's definitely tense because of the neighbours. I guess we don't need to worry about being quiet and not bothering them. We'll just throw a party and get even. Let's take a quick look. She started on a few skills, not really gotten very far on any of them. She's also really tired. We've got something done today at least. It's a bit of a start on the series. I'll make sure she finishes her homework off and then maybe grab some chips before bed since the girl's got to eat. And I think I'll leave it there. If you liked the video and want to support the channel in its young infant stages, then why not hit the subscribe button? You don't need to ring the bell, I'm not delusional enough to think you want to be informed when I upload videos, but a subscribe would really help me out. Until next time guys, I think I'll call this one a day. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Don't have an outro yet, but maybe that's something we'll work on for later videos. Bye! Alright perverts, you don't need to stick around to watch her showering.